सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरीज सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ क्लोन्ड सी डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट्स दैट आर इंसर्टेड इन टू आ सूटेबल होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म आर सेल्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्राम सिंजर आर एन ए बाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्शन वेयर मसेंजर आर एन ए इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सी डी एन ए सो जिनोमिक डी एन ए इट इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व डायरेक्टली इन सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी कंस्ट्रक्शन सो फॉर दिस पर्पज मसेंजर आर एन ए इट इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्राम अ स्पेसिफिक सेल टाइप्स वेयर ऑल द पॉपुलेशन इट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड and then it is extracted and converted in vitro in cdna components or fragments and then later on they can be used for cloning so we can say that cdna library it can only represent a one small subset or component of the uh, you can say that uh, of the whole genome of a particular organism the reason is that as compared to genomic library the components of messenger rna they may be uh, specific belong to specific tissue type and they can expressed uh, variably some tissue may have high expression of a particular messenger rna as compared to other so it can represent only a small subset of the total genome of an organism misal ke taur par agar hum compare kare kisi higher organism ke kisi component ko ya part ko like plant roots ko to plant root ke messenger rna se jo library construct hogi wo different hogi us cdna library se jo ke leaf se ya pattu se कंस्ट्रक्ट की गई है क्योंकि दोनों ऑर्गन्स में रूट में और लीफ में जो मसेंजर आरएनए का एक्सप्रेशन है ये डिफरेंट होगा और मसेंजर आरएनए का जो एक्सप्रेशन है ये ऑर्गन की जो मेच्योरिटी है या लाइफ है उसके साथ साथ भी ये वेरी करता रहता है सो so, इसलिए ये कहा जाता है कि जो सी डी एन ए है ये रिप्रजेंट करती है एक स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ जीनोमिक डी not the whole genome so uh, then we can differentiate between cdna library and the genomic dna library when we have a look on the cdna library we will note that uh, it can only clone those bases that are present in the messenger rna not the whole gene because a portion of the gene it is converted into the messenger rna so सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी इट रिप्रजेंट दो न्यूक्लियोटाइड बेसिस दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द मसेंजर आर एन ए रादर दैन इन द जीन ऑन द अदर हैंड जीनोमिक डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी इट कैन क्लोन द होल जीन फ्रेगमेंट द सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज दैट द मसेंजर आर एन ए इन केस ऑफ सी डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी इट्स इट्स एक्सप्रेशन मे बी वेरिएबल Uh, for example in some tissue the expression may be high so the particular gene may be present in high number whereas in some tissue the expression is low so other population may be present uh, in uh, low number so uh, those that are enriched they are present they can represent uh, cdna library more frequently as compared to those fragments that are expressed rarely but on the other hand in case of genomic dna library it can represents the whole complement of the genome or the chromosome so it is not based on the expression as compared to cdna library when we note the expression of a particular gene so it may be uh, high abundant or it may be moderately abundant or the expression it may be lower for example if we have a look on the oviduct of the chicken so a one particular gene it is present 
in super abundant form and it is of, of albumin which represents the white portion of the egg protein so it is present uh, as super abundant so if it is present in super abundant form then its direct cloning it may not be required because it is already enriched when it is already enriched then it can be directly cloned into a suitable vector and here the vector that is most preferable it is m13 mp8 vector hopefully you have the idea from our previous lecture that what are m13 mp8 uh, vector and how a screening strategy it is there so we can clone uh, directly those messenger RNA population that are uh, abundant it depends upon specific tissue type as I told you that oviduct of chicken so after cloning into a vector then it can be converted into cDNA and then it can be sequenced directly and after sequencing then we can compare the sequence to uh, detect the respective protein that it may clone so in this way we can have a direct comparison this table it showed abundance classes of typical messenger RNA population from two tissues so first tissue it is mouse liver cytoplasm it represents polyadenylated population of messenger RNA and second population it is thick oviduct polysomal polyadenylated messenger RNA so first column it indicates the number of different messenger RNA so first class it contain nine different type of messenger RNA next one seven hundred and eleven thousand five hundred in the last class and next table it indicates the abundance of molecules per cell like first class that contain nine different type of messenger RNA their abundance per cell it may be twelve thousand so it is highly abundant and for the last one uh, it is 15 so 15 molecules per cell they are appropriate for constructing cDNA library and the next one chicken oviduct polysomal it contain first one first class that contain one type of messenger RNA and it is super abundant it contain thousands of molecules per cell and they are very very appropriate for direct cloning by using phage vectors on the other hand if messenger RNA population it is uh, low or moderate then its cloning it is required in suitable vectors and the most suitable vectors are the lambda phages and here two vectors they are the most important one like the lambda GT uh, 10 and lambda GT 11 vectors lambda GT 10 vector along with lambda GT 11 vectors they can uh, clone around seven kilobase DNA fragment and they are the type of insertional vectors so within the equi one site the uh, cDNA it can be inserted and after insertion for lambda GT10 uh, the plaques can be cloned by hybridization by using specific probe if the sequence of our gene it is known on the other hand for lambda GT 11 uh, we can insert the uh, our cDNA at appropriate orientation within the lambda Z gene so that it can be cloned as a fusion protein and this fusion protein now it can be detected by using uh, immunological technique in addition to that other vectors like lambda zap which is a type of phasemid vector they can also be used for cDNA cloning